looking at larger displays for either for a cover glass for let's say a large monitor or TV or large touch applications like touch walls that are starting to come out. Uh, one of the tests that we've run up against is this ball drop test. Now they take, this is a steel ball, 535 gram steel ball. It's a little over a pound. All right, so they take this and they drop it on our glass, which one would think is just not a good idea. But fortunately, we have Gorilla Glass, and you'll see how that works. But just to give you an idea, you can listen to this falling, kind of hitting the carpet. I can do that one more time so you can hear it. Um, so that's, that's a lot of weight, okay? So what Don's going to do here is we've got a piece of Gorilla Glass, uh, horizontal. This Gorilla Glass is uh, adhered to a frame very similar to how you'd have a display mounted for cover glass. It's one millimeter thick Gorilla Glass and he's going to drop this 535 gram steel ball and we're going to see how we do here. Did you hear that? Very loud, very uh, very impactful. When customers see this, uh, we've shown a number of customers, this is a wow factor. They just can't believe that, that glass will perform like that. Um, so. Amazed, you know, for it's the sound, the fact that you can take a one pound steel ball and drop it from a meter um, and the glass is not fractured. A piece of Gorilla Glass, uh, we've done tests 65 miles an hour and that thing just bounces right off the Gorilla Glass. Very similar to what you see of this steel ball right here. So, no, customers are, are really wowed by it and uh, we're really getting a lot of good, strong pull for it, I think, due to, due to this.